When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. Hey everybody, Jerry Williams, aka Greater Sapien here. Thanks for stopping by. Today we look at number 62 of Eric Dubay's 200 proofs. Earth is not a spinning ball. Dubay says, Samuel Robotham's experiments at the Old Bedford level proved conclusively the canal's water to be completely flat over a six-mile stretch. First, he stood in the canal with his telescope held eight inches above the surface of the water. Then his friend with a boat with a five-foot-tall flag sailed the six miles away. If the Earth were a ball 25,000 miles in circumference, the six-mile stretch of water should have comprised an arc exactly six feet high in the middle. So the entire boat and the flag should have ultimately disappeared, when in fact the entire boat and flag remained visible at the same height for the entire journey. You know, I really wish I had access to Robotham's actual work because I don't feel Dubay's reporting can be trusted. So we have a canal with a six mile stretch of water, a six foot arc. Huh. Is it me or does this sound familiar to any of you? I mean, they all sound familiar, but this one in particular. Hold on a second. Ah, yep. Yeah. yeah, here it is. Number six. If the Earth were a ball, 25,000 miles in circumference, as NASA and modern astronomy claim, spherical trigonometry dictates the surface of all standing water must curve downward in an easily measurable 8 inches per mile multiplied by the square of the distance. This means, along a 6-mile channel of standing water, the Earth would dip 6 feet on either end from the central peak. Every time such experiments have been conducted, however, Standing water has proven to be perfectly level. So, number 62 is literally a retelling of number 6, but now we know that the experiments he was referring to were Robotham's. Wait a minute. He said experiments plural, didn't he? Okay. I'm going to break with protocol here and check the next proof. Hold on. Yep. Fine. I'll do it now. Number 63. In a second experiment, Dr. Robotham affixed flags five feet high along the shoreline, one at every mile marker. Then, using his telescope mounted at five feet just behind the first flag, looked over the tops of all six flags, which lined up in a perfectly straight line. If the Earth were a ball of 25,000 miles in circumference, the flags should have progressively dipped down after the first establishing line of sight. The second would have descended 8 inches, 32 inches for the third, 6 feet for the fourth, 10 feet 8 inches for the fifth, and 16 feet 8 inches for the sixth. So, both 62 and 63 were already mentioned in number 6. Well, just like with number 6, I'll note that years after Robotham, Alfred Wallace conducted his own experiments at the Bedford level and did it at a slightly higher elevation in order to reduce the amount of refraction. And of course, curvature was recorded. Duh. That's my job! That's what I do! I don't lose! I win! I win! Is there no one on this planet to even challenge me? Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory.